This is the Duck Duck Dean Battle Brothers playthrough. After the last video, I went to the Moshi Shelter. There were a bunch of brigand thugs. I killed them all for experience. And then I came to Ike Holtz here. And they're under unhold attack, just like they were 30 days ago. But this time, the Red Company can help for the right price. A lot of crowns. I do want to rep with this town, so I'll just accept their author. Yes, we want to be hunting these beasts. This is going to be fun. Plus, once we get rid of that, it should be uh, ch much cheaper to buy a war bow. Right now, it's 4000 I've that the going price? I can't even remember. But after I kill these things, I'll buy a war bow. It's going to be great. Let's see. Oh, they're going north. Let's see. Now, I want to be hunting these things. Please, game, give me many, many monsters. Four, that's it? That's not that many. Um, yeah, we're gonna win. Uh, let's see, what should I do? Definitely want a banner. You have quick cans, right? No, you don't have quick cans. This is fine. Don't need the crossbows, not doing much here. Nuts could actually do something. Bring my messenger. Uh, that's good. Two archers seem okay. Poison. Don't really need it, but yeah, you never know. We should bring some bandages. Could be useful. You don't have Nimbo yet, so it's actually a bit of a risk to uh, use you. Like that. Let's do a two-handed mace instead of the one-handed. You can tank pretty effectively. Oh, I gotta give you a perk. Um... Right, I wasn't sure what to do with you. Shield mastery? I think you always go a shield. I just don't know what else to give you. So let's give you shield mastery. Shield expert. Let's actually swap the better shield. Alright. Should be able to tank pretty effectively. Let's try this uh, Nimbo tank business. Let's see how this goes. Um, I'm not sending the Novo out to die like that. Okay, this seems good. A uh, little worried about risking my cell sword here. That doesn't seem smart. Until you get nimble, you're theoretically slightly vulnerable. Your pike. But I worry that I don't have enough guys holding uh, weapons. I think you can be okay. You just gotta, just gotta be careful with you. I think we'll be alright. Something like this makes sense to me. As you put into formation, wild man goes running. Okay, I've seen this event. Um, I think what can happen is there's a chance your character gets injured, which is terrible. Or there's a chance all the onos go away and I don't get to loot anything. That's terrible. I'm just going to attack them. This is a forest fight. Interesting. Uh, Alright, well. The way you beat these things is... Careful positioning. Probably gonna back up a little, actually. Alright. Uh, the mace. Yes, I like this mace. Four percent, it's not great. But it's something. Uh, let's move down. Mm, I'm gonna move my tank up. He could um 
I think I move you here. Do like that. Start by uh, staying a little spread out. Oh, there's no point in attacking. He's just gonna heal himself. Um, I wanna do like a. Uh... Yes. This seems good. All right, now there's a point in attacking. We can fight just one guy. That'd be pretty sweet. Let's see what he does. Oh, I didn't see that. Interesting. We have to focus this one down. They can toss people around. Gotta be careful. Double miss. Not great. Wood. It's fine. That's all fine. This is starting to be less fun. We have to use some nets here. Thinking I gotta net that one, actually. Netting this one isn't a bad idea either, but not strictly necessary right now. Uh, let's uh, back up by one. Should be able to take quite a few hits. All right. Axing eight turns, axing thirteen turns. I should be able to pull out a net. Yep. So I can stay safely on my high ground here. Uh, this character will hold. Fine. Stun doesn't really do anything. Nice hit. Daze, he's debuffed. Now we don't have quick hands, but it's still okay. Still do that. This guy has an AoE attack, but it's not so bad if you have good armor. Yep. Yep, he couldn't do much because... Um, now, let's see. I like netting the big one up there. Don't want one of my characters to get ganged up on too badly. Alright. Oh, this way the guy has to spend one turn breaking a net. Can't like come down and whack me in the face. I should have equipped another pike. Let's move back in. One down. That's fine. Like that didn't really do anything. Oh, it put me ew, the uh, the terrain disadvantage. Oh, it did do something. All right, one more down. Don't know if I actually even shoot that thing. Wonder if I move what the odds are. Let's just shield wall for now. Let's see what it does. Oh, this guy's turn is done. Yeah. 
Alright, what were its hit chance? 21. That's actually not bad. Let's uh, shoot the bigot up on that hill. They're doing a bit of damage. This guy's gonna be very annoying to kill. Good, the day's debuff means his attacks can't really do anything. I should have given you a two handed weapon for a maximum uh, fun. Good. This guy's gonna do his sweeping strike thing. Barely even did anything thanks to uh, being dazed. Hold. All right, broke his way out. Seems fine. Uh, just gang up on him. Seems are annoying, to say the least. Should be able to kill him this turn. Now there's only one big un up on that hill. That's going to be a bit of a problem. Let's uh, let my shield walled character absorb the hits. Oh, excellent, excellent. Now he's off the hill. That was great. I should let him hit me for that result. All right, he can grab me from up there, but um, may not have a better move. There we go. Definitely killing that. They great drop great loot. I feel in many ways terrible for fighting these creatures. I mean, unlike a lot of the enemies in this game, you know, the undead, murderous brigands, orcs, these are, like, in many ways, just creatures who want to live uh, a life unbothered by humans. But instead, there are these annoying humans who come here, who... Uh, and toss eh, don't like that these annoying humans who come and uh hunt them for their pelts like i don't even need them to live i know that the game says these uh these creatures um you know are violent but that's just what the uh townspeople say townspeople say a lot of things Townspeople say a lot of things. I think we just, I don't want him to like do some sort of high ground shenanigan. Eh, well. I gotta move up, otherwise, I will never do enough damage. Gotta net this thing so he doesn't. Oh, it's 5 AP. I always forget that. Damn. Well, we're not netting this thing. This guy's taking a lot of damage. Alright, that works. But these poor creatures, you know. All they want to uh, do is be left alone. These humans coming. 
They attack them for their pelts. Sure, they might be like bothering the humans by eating their crops or, you know, sometimes maybe uh, they see the villagers and are terribly confused and kill them all because villagers seem so cute. But, and they go and give a hug to the poor little villagers, and they don't even know their own strength. Like, poor creatures. Want one of these bone platings. Let's put it on the light armor. Oh, this is, like, stupid. Uh, level up. Seems good. Um, what do I get on my archers next? I think I have all the defensive perks I need. Uh, except footwork, but we don't need that right away. Let us start the murder train. Killing Frenzy or Berserk? They're both extremely good. I think we go Berserk and then Killing Frenzy. Alright. Ooh, we can make a large quiver of arrows. Not that I need that just yet. Let's pay for some rumors. To the west, far away from here. In the forest, there was something. Could be more undead. I want to fight that. Now, the real prize. Really? Are Warbulls 4k? Is that right? Not sure, but I have the money. Let's pay for it. Yes, a Warbow. Now, my archer. What is this look? I have to say, this is a different look than the usual. Um, but... Yeah, sure. These bone plating should only be allowed to be attached like armor over a certain durability. This is stupid. I have a cloth and a witch hunter's hat. I do look pretty badass, I have to say. Like, this does look pretty badass, and I'm more or less invincible right now. Alright, well. Um, something to the force to the west. Maybe I go there. I'm not really sure where I should go. What's the price here? 15? That's alright. I want more contracts. Let's see. We could just take a boat. Force to the west. Could be in here. Uh, yeah, let's go exploring. I like that. Could be more undead. I want to fight more undead. Barely even took any damage that fight. Mostly thanks to my very heavy armor. Um, the nimble tank didn't even get hit at all. Heavy armor, definitely useful. Heavy armor also looks cooler. What is this? As you take a look at the local markets where a strange man approaches, as bulbs, a strange leg was hanging from his hip, and there's a strange wood taking the place of most of his teeth. That's an interesting trophy you got there. The Gossamer. I'll give you 300 crowns for it. Hand it over. Hand over fist. Easy money. That is an easy money. Gossamer is super common. Yeah, 300 crowns basically for free. Am I close to glorious? Oh, maybe I have to do a couple more contracts. Hmm. Well, there's something to the forest to the west. Here, I'm guessing. Could be more undead. Depend if it's down here, we'll just head out to Hammerden. But if it's um, close, now I think either way we go to Hammerden. Emmerdin's a great town. People there, I think, love me, right? Because I done... Okay, they're only open, but I will do more for them, and then they will love me. Maybe they have some uh, monsters of their own that they want me to kill. Alright, this is the forest. Where is this uh, dwelling? Not in the swamp, it's in the forest. Theory, this is also a forest to the west, but it's so close to the road. Could be here. Oh, what is that? There are some sort of tracks. Monster tracks. Eight direwolves, yes. We want to fight that, definitely. Uh, we need direwolf pelts. Forest to the west. This is the forest to the west. Maybe it's down here. 
Anyway, I th the Eight Dire Wolves isn't even worth uh, recording. I will pause the video here, and if I find something interesting to kill, I'll re resume it. Thank you for watching.